Okay, hi Megan. Um, so I don't consider myself a creative person in like the typical way of like being artsy or musically inclined or anything like that. I've always been very jealous of people who are very artsy. It's something I desire to do, um, but never have really been able to figure it out. Um, so this really was a great way to kind of explore new avenues to be creative and do things that I had never done before. Um, so I really appreciated that and it definitely opened my mind a bit to maybe try new things um, in like the art world. And then I definitely think creativity is important in occupational therapy uh, beyond arts and crafts because you have to be creative in the sense of like if a patient you know, if you try one therapeutic idea or activity and it doesn't work, you might have to like think on your feet and come up with something else. Or you have to constantly be able to meet patients where they are and what their needs are and what their abilities are. And every patient is gonna be different. So in order to make your treatment client-centered, you have to be creative and constantly be thinking of ways, even if it's the same idea, ways to alter them, ways to adjust them, adapt, modify, things like that. So I think all those aspects of occupational therapy take a lot of creativity and then I with the embroidery um, this is my embroidery project it was definitely a rough start I had a hard time figuring out how to like thread the needle I was like YouTubing it I even called one of my friends who I know does embroidery um, and she kind of helped me like talk me through figuring out how to get it started um, and it was really nice because it gave us a way to connect like on our friendship and like a different level a little bit that we never had because I don't usually do embroidery. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. And it took, the back's kind of a mess, um, as you can see. So, but the front looks good, I guess. Um, I didn't have the best colors, I feel like. Like, I would have done this maybe a little bit differently if I had different colored string. But overall, I liked it. Um, these were, like, the same stitches, like, just, uh, I forget what it's called, but, like, front and back. And then this is, like, a knotted stitch. So I tried two different ones. Overall, it went well. I did think it was relaxing because you could kind of sit there once you got it and just kind of, I think I watched like a movie while I was doing it and that was really nice. Um, and then I made a wooden planter out of Jenga blocks. Um, so I love nature and flowers and succulents. Um, so I thought making a planter would be fun. And then I was trying to figure out how exactly I wanted to do it. And I found this... Um, image online on Pinterest of using Jenga blocks and then I kind of made it my own and made it this way um but yeah I used Jenga blocks and I would stain them and then I glued them together and made this and I actually really like it I think it's perfect size I'll probably keep in my room um I'll probably plant like a succulent in here but you also could store like I know a lot of people a lot of my classmates like like crystals and things like that you could put those in here um something like that so I did really like it and I did it really because it kind of met what I enjoyed doing and also I think there's something to be said about building something and doing like hands-on and creating something like that and I think that that kind of inspired me to like just having an end product and working towards something that I wanted to see made um, and I think others could relate to that too so that kind of inspired this um, and then something I learned from this assignment um, was to be open to new, like, creative mediums that you've never tried. Because when we got this embroidery, embroidery assignment and making a basket out of something, I instantly, like, panicked a little bit because I, like I said, I don't think I'm artistically creative. And I thought this is going to be so hard for me and definitely really challenging and take forever, not be that enjoyable. But honestly, I had a lot of fun and it really gave me a great excuse this summer to take time to do stuff I would have never tried. Like I would have never made a wooden planter or this embroidery project if it wasn't for this assignment. So I am actually very thankful for that. Um, but overall, I think it was a great assignment to explore new creative mediums and implement them into treatment and think of new activities that could be used um, for clients in the future. Um, and it also taught me things that I didn't know how to do. Like I don't know how to embroider, but I think it's very possible that I could have a client in the future who that's something they like to do. And if that's a way I can help them meet their occupational goals, um, because I have a little bit more knowledge now, that'll be amazing. So overall, I really liked it. And thank you so much.